In this video, we solve problem 8.1.15 from Essentials of Statistics, 6th edition by Mario Triola. We're given a claim. The claim says that the mean pulse rate in beats per minute of adult males is equal to 69 beats per minute. And then we're told that for a random sample of 147 adults, the mean pulse rate is 70.1 beats per minute, and the standard deviation is 11.3 beats per minute. We're asked to find the value of the test statistic. So the first thing that I would do on this problem and any similar problem is I would state the claim. Now notice that they're talking about a mean pulse rate. So we want to state a claim about a mean, so it's about a population mean, population mean of adult males, and the claim is that that mean pulse rate of adult males is equal to 69 beats per minute. Now, if that's not true, we would have the mean is not equal to 69 beats per minute. Between these two statements, the one that contains the condition of equality is this first one. So the claim happens to be the null in this case. Our alternative hypothesis is this one. Okay, now let's look at the sample data that we have. We're told that we have a random sample of 147 adult males. So that's our sample size. And we're told that their mean pulse rate is 70.1 beats per minute. And the standard deviation for that sample is equal to 11.3 beats per minute. Now we're asked to find the value of the test statistic now in order to illustrate this, I wanna think about what exactly this test statistic represents. I'm going to draw a distribution. So this is the sampling distribution of the sample means in this case, because we're talking about means. We know that under certain conditions, that's approximately normal. Maybe that's not a very normal distribution. I tried to draw a bell-shaped curve. And we know that the mean of the sample means is equal to the population mean because it's an unbiased estimator. And the population mean that we're testing against, the one that we're assuming is true as we do our hypothesis test, is this one. So we're assuming that the mean is equal to 69 beats per minute. And the question is, under that assumption, you know, how rare is it for us to have a sample mean of 70.1 beats per minute, provided that the true mean is 69 beats per minute? Now, 70.1 is just a little bit more uh, than our mean here, our assumed mean. So the question is, what is the z-score for not the z-score, what is the statistic um, that goes with that? So what I would do at this point is I would get out my formulas for our test statistics. When we are dealing with the mean of one population and the standard deviation is known, we use this formula. If we're dealing with one population and the standard deviation is not known, We've got to use this formula. Notice that that's a T and that's a Z, um, just like we talked about um, when we talked about um, estimating the uh, population mean in the last chapter. Um, let's see, in this case, um, it doesn't look like they gave us a population standard deviation. So we are in the second case where the mean, or the, sorry, the uh, population standard deviation is not known. And that means I don't want a z-score, I want a t-score. And the t-value is going to equal the um, sample mean minus the um, mean of the sample means that we're testing against. So we're going to use that, that assumed mean in our sampling distribution of sample means. And then we'll divide by the standard deviation uh, 
associated with um, that t distribution, which is the sample standard deviation divided by the square root of n. That's just an estimate of that. So we'll, we're going to compute this now. So that is x bar, which equals uh, 70.1. And we're subtracting the mean we're testing against. That's 60, uh, 69. And then we're dividing by the sample standard deviation, which happened to be 11.3, divided by the square root of the sample size. And our sample size was 147. So what I think I'll do is um, I will do that denominator first. At 11.3 divided by the square root of 147. Hit enter, you get that. And I want that numerator divided by that answer. So I'll type open parentheses 70.1 minus 69, close parentheses, divided by answer. And then I'll hit equals. And that's what I get. So I've got a t-score of approximately 1.18. That's not exactly a number, number of standard deviations above or below this mean. And because we know that the student t-distribution does not have a standard deviation of one, it has a slightly wider a slightly larger uh, standard deviation. Um, but this is the test statistic that we'll use to determine um, whether this hypothesis or whether to reject or fail to reject uh, that null hypothesis. So that's how we handle that one. And I hope that helps you interpret what it is you're doing as well. That's why we're drawing our pictures here. <laughs>